Alright, so you may remember last time I uh, melted plastic. It was, uh, it was like a really bad quality video, right? And uh, that's, that's still, if you look at melting plastic, it's still a huge, you know, it, it's up there in the searches if you go down. And so I feel like it's only fair that I should do more. So today, I, you know, these little plastic lids and stuff, they take up so much space. I need to clean up my workshop anyway. I've had this right here ready to melt just forever. So I'm setting the oven to that temperature and I'm just gonna melt it. Leave it in a brick probably. And I don't really have a shredder like, um, like that one YouTube channel I think Dave Hackins, it's self-named YouTube channel. He's uh, He's got more on there than just plastic, but it's uh, it's very helpful advice on plastic. I'd recommend if you want to get into that thing, go look at the stuff he's doing. He knows how to do the extrusion, the uh, injection molding, you know, all by hand and everything like that. Well, y you do need some welding, which my main problem. But anyway, let's get on to looking at this plastic melt. So I'm just gonna start laying them out. Now, my theory is that these are low density polyethylene. And I think that because they're weak like this, right? This one couldn't even stand up. These are little cheap ones, classic ones. Let's just have a few fallen few regular and I have it at the temperature of low density polyethylene but I don't know what it is so I'm gonna be careful about this a lot of things I've seen that are already videos of this are just people burning them or you know putting them in like like on a grill and then reversing the the footage which is just dumb so let me put them in here I really hope these are low density poly polyethylene, like this piece right here, because then I can mix it with uh, this, and I'm gonna remelt this after I do that. This is, it's, it's probably not a good idea to melt it anymore because usually if, if you know the accurate melting temperature, you won't get any, any fumes or anything like that. I'm keeping it on low and I, th I think I'm going to take it out. I really wanted that full puddle effect, but I don't know if we're going to get that high density polyethylene. Yeah, that's about the best you can see. I'm really disappointed with this shot. I don't, I mean, I'm still going to throw in a quick time lapse there. But I really, you know, the old one I had you could see better, but it wasn't as big. So I've got a little bit of plastic stuck to the edge here. I'll finish this one up and I'll move to the next one because this one, it's, it's pretty boring. Finally, here's some plastic that I all know what it is. I've washed it all. It should be safe and I just need to minimize the space. These are all milk lids like I've, I've said before. 
I've done some extensive researching on Google and you cannot mix these milk lids with the actual milk jugs uh, because these have a lower melting temperature they could go up in fumes but also because this is a weaker material right here you might end up just, just getting this really weak mixture material Look at that. It's just amazing. Just part of that noise outside. It's still very That's just, I like that. Wasn't it, I think it was last video that I was talking about making a satisfying Instagram, you know, you basically using that Instagram stupid slime trend to make this popular. The, the slime trend and like whatever memory foam toy trend is going on right now, that could, you know, it's just, it's a little bit dumb. I don't agree with it. You could get major views based on this. I'm going to leave it in this flat, ugly lid state like it is, then probably just break it into pieces. The reason why, if I put it into like a block like this right here, I didn't have any time. I, I don't have the time and patience to melt this down. This, this took forever and took forever to get the sides like that. Now I'm starting to think, because the, the army men weren't melting at the temperature I thought, then I moved it up to the high density polyethylene temperature, and they smelt bad. That's not a good thing. You should be getting no smell. This gave me no smell whatsoever. And so, this wasn't melting at 250. I move it up to 300, and then I get this nice liquid pool. I'm thinking... They're both low density polyethylene. I just need to put them both, or I, I think I misspoke. I need to put them both at 300 when I melt them. This is a block I was showing earlier of high density polyethylene. I really couldn't bother in getting all the metal dust out from having that around so much. You know that, that crackling sound, the plastic is separating from the baking. Now if you do try this, I think I said this before, especially with low density polyethylene, the more you fold it to try to get a pattern in, uh, especially if you have it in a more liquidy state, the more it's going to be um, turned gray. So you just got to watch out for that. It's going to turn a greenish gray. Well, that's, that's usually what would happen with me. I've got these melted army men. This thing's cooled down. Some of them slightly stuck together. Some of them a little bit. I was nearly burning those. I gotta be careful about that. So anyway, 
Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And as always, goodbye.